One of the most important techniques in SQL is filtering down to just the data you need. So I'm going to show you a few where clause techniques today for both numeric and categorical columns, which should get you a lot of the way there. The data set we're going to use today is a bike rental data set. And really, we're just looking at two columns in here, the duration column, and we're looking at the station name column. So we've got a start station name and an end station name in here. So the first query we're going to look at is a numeric query where we're looking for a duration which is equal to greater than less than a certain amount. So this query here is where a duration is not equal to 3840. And this will pull all our records where the duration is not equal to 3840. I'm looking at where duration is equal to 3840 and you see that come in and then we can go and do is duration is greater than 3840, less than, less than or equal to and so on and so forth. String colony works in kind of a similar way where you can say where start station name equals to the string within quotes. So if I run this, this will return every record where the start station name equals to Albert Gate Party. You can also do the not equal to in here as well. And there's a number of different techniques we can use for strings, which we'll get onto some of them uh, later on in this video. So if you want to chain together where clauses, you want to use the and statement. In this example, I'm saying where duration is greater than 1800, but less than 3600. So that's it in there. These are the durations, uh, so the 10 durations where we're greater than 1800, but we're less than or equal to 3600. The next query I want to show you is the or statement. So in this, we're going where start station name equals golden square Soho or the end station name equals golden square Soho. And this will pull records where either the start station name or the end station name is golden square Soho. And again, with the and statement is that you can chain a lot of these or statements. Next thing I want to show you is a keyword called between. So in this case, we can look at where duration is between 1800 and 3600 and this stops you from having to put this duration keyword in again like we would have done in this query here where where duration and duration so in this one we are just doing a between 1800 and 3600 and that will pull all our duration between 1800 and 3600. The last thing I want to show you is the in statement and this is where we can match to a list of possible outcomes. So essentially where start station name is in this list so it's either Golden Square Soho or Albert Gate Park and that list can be pre pretty much endless. Put as much as you want in there and it also works for numbers as well. So you could do, if you're looking at financial data, you can look at in fiscal year 2024, 23, 22, uh, that sort of stuff. So this is in statement is used a lot. And any of these where clause can be chained with an and. So I could do where start station in and duration, and duration is greater than 5,000. And in here we've got the durations greater than 5,000 and we've got the two start station names. So as you can see today, the where clause is super powerful. There's more we can do here, and I'm going to go through advanced techniques such as wildcard matching in the next video. I hope you found that useful. Follow for more.